जय हिंद अगेन आई एम हेयर टू एक्सप्लेन ऑन द थ्री ऑर्डर द डिविजन ऑफ द सोसाइटी एज इन इंडिया द होल सोसाइटी इज डिवाइडेड इन द फोर वर्नास द ब्राह्मणास द क्षत्रिय द शूद्रास एंड द वैश्यास इन द सिमिलर वे इन यूरोपियन सोसाइटी इट इज डिवाइडेड इन द थ्री ऑर्डर्स और इन योर अर्ली क्लासेस यू हैव डन द एस्टेट्स ऑर्डर और द स्टेट्स ऑफ द बोथ आर द सेम थिंग the three orders of the feudalism and you are very much familiar with the feudalism and it is feudalism in the middle of ages a system called feudalism become important in europe the term feudalism comes from the german word feud which means land under feudalism the poorer people worked under the nobles the knights and the lords the exchange of their labor the nobles also handled the legal matters of the farmers in the first order the european society is divided in the three orders the first order second order and the third order in first order the priest the religious leaders the religious gurus the members of the clergy affiliations to the catholic church influenced the europe guided the bishops the clerics pope lived in rome pop the biggest most religious guru of christians women could not become the priest there are some restrictions and laws and pet protocols for the to be become the for the uh, priest or what we say the clergyman the additional members the monks played very important role in church and in the society in the second and third orders the nobles the lords the rich persons land owners they fall in the second category they could raise troops and nobles they also were responsible for the vassalage system the third order the poor peasant the first and second orders had the many privileges by birth they are exempted from the taxes and they enjoyed the all luxurious lives just like they have a heaven on the earth but in the third order the peasants have very miserable conditions they have a burden of taxes on them and they have to pay the tax one to the state and one to the lord or the king so the condition of peasants very very miserable and in the first order this part is under the rome pope the clergy the rich people the land owners the religious gurus and they have some particular laws for them one just they do not have to marry and they should have to live the very simple life they should not have any property they have to think only for the welfare of the society so this is the host orders of the clergy this is the conditions for the clergy and what they have to do monks and nuns lives in the monasteries they have very strict rules they could not marry they could not attain any type of property they could not have any asset and after the 13th century some were allowed to spread another things but in actual in the practical means everything is gone contrast to the whatever the conditions reached by the society during the renaissance monks and nuns visited the cities and put their lives become less austere the corruption within the church this made the people doubt of the clergy of the catholic church mean to say with the renaissance the conditions and the status of the monks and nuns were degraded even the lords the second orders they create a new vassalage system mean to say the slavery peasants slavery the sick second state orders the nobles the ranked lords the land owners they were the responsible for the existence of the vassal system vassals they were the called the vassals the peoples were called the vassals and have written documents on their lands nobles just ju judicial powers and could issue the coins and control the farm lands of the manors manor is the house of lord Thank <laughs> you.